Hello, it's, uh, well, you can't see a damn thing on here, unfortunately. It says 1.24 p.m., which is one minute away from the meridian, or the highest point of the sun in the sky on the March equinox of 2018. And I thought I might use this time to check a couple of things, because there's one thing over here that I, I think, I might be misunderstanding this, but I think this is the only time of the year when you can check it, and that is my latitude. So when I use my GPS to get my latitude and longitude to figure out where I am on the Earth, I always see the number 37.5, or negative 37.5, so it's 37.5 degrees south. And I always wonder, huh, is it really? No, nah. <laughs> I believe it, but you can check it, and so that's what I'm going to do there. Uh, and I thought while I was out here I might also check my magnetic declination, because uh, you can do this any day, pretty much, at the time when the sun grows across the... Um, zero degrees heading for you, which is what it's going to do. Okay, it says 125 now, so let me just show you what I've got here. There is a little plumb bob thing there. I might have to move this camera a bit over that way. And what this is doing is it's showing us that the vertical side of the protractor here, it's a little bit hard to see unfortunately, when I printed this out, I couldn't figure out how to get my printer to do bold lines, so they're very, very thin lines, but we can see that that is hanging directly down. Unfortunately the wind is blowing it a little bit but it is directly down on one side so that's 90 degrees and that lets us see which way is down obviously and the other thing that we can see from that let me just take this camera off the other thing we can see from that is which way is north because the shadow of that plumb bob thing is pointing directly north-south there and I've placed my Nexus 7 tablet next to it. The Nexus 7 tablet was running, oh, it's gone to sleep now, but it was running the GPS status app which tell, told me that north was that way. So the direction that you get from these magnetometer digital devices are, is not always that great, but it's not bad. It's only a few degrees off there. <laughs> well, actually, probably it's like about five or six degrees or more, but still, it's not too bad. Anyway, so the direction of the shadow there is exactly north-south. Uh, but more to the point, what I wanted to check, let me just put this back on here now, was the direction of the shadow of the little paper clip. There's a little paper clip sticking directly straight out from here. And unfortunately, it's not quite going to cast a shadow on this piece of paper until I turn it around a little bit. But when I do, you should see a shadow going into, oh, I can't even see this on my, can you see that shadow there? I can't see it on my LCD screen on my video camera. Oh yeah, I think it's alright. Should be able to see it there. So 37.5 degrees is what my GPS always tells me. Uh, and it is 37.5 and a little bit. I'm not sure if I got that a little bit by having to rotate it like this. Trouble is, if I rotate, rotate it a little bit there, we don't get any shadow. If I rotate it too much, we get a nice shadow, but it moves down a little bit, see? Let me just take this off, because that's not necessary at the moment. But it's pretty close to 37.5 anyway. So, like I say, I'm not exactly sure if this is the only time of the year that you can do it. Some of, some of these things are a little bit tricky to think about. Oh, sun's gone behind a cloud. That was just, just lucky timing, wasn't it? Um, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that this is the only time of year you can check that. Anyway. Uh-oh. Now I've lost my shadow, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, I want my north-south shadow back again. Let me put this back on. So, let's check if you can see that there. Mm. So what I'm doing is lining up the baseline of that printed protractor piece of paper with the line of the shadow of the plumb bob. And then I will stick it down as soon as I get a bit, a bit more sun. Oh no! Uh, there's a big cloud there. Let's just skip until the sun comes back, shall we? Ah, okay, finally. Alright, unfortunately the time is now 1.34pm, so we've lost about 9 minutes, uh, so I'm going to have to check what this 
degree like this bearing I'm not setting it to true north if I had have done it nine minutes ago that would have been true north but in any case I'll just sellotape this down like that and then I can take this away I don't need that shadow anymore oops and in place of that I can put my compass so compass is going to go on here take these metallic things away and this will go right on top of that center mark is that right? Oh, okay. sometimes this compass the ball inside gets a little bit stuck so to check that it's not getting stuck right now I will just hold this near a bit and you can see it moving a little bit so that should be alright so you probably couldn't see it moving but let's take you now over here so I have been told that the magnetic declination here is 20 degrees just for those who don't know magnetic declination is the difference between true north that is the north pole or the axis that the earth spins on and the north that a compass would show which is magnetic north and you can find this out by going to magnetic declination it's a little bit different all over the globe um, and you can find on here you can just click around like this so if I click here we'll see in my location here it's 20 degrees and 19 minutes east meaning that the compass will point to the east of true north so that's why I say I was told 20 degrees that's what I'm looking at here if you want to know a bit more about this you can see the Wikipedia page here which uh, explains it like that um, and an interesting thing about this as I mentioned it's different all over the world and it also changes over time which is a little bit inconvenient so you sort of have to keep this updated it changes very slowly of course so it's not that inconvenient um, but there's a quite interesting map here that you can look at and this shows uh, lines of what would you call it level it's like uh, what's the word reminds me of the contour lines on a map a bit but anyway you can see that at my location here in uh, the just above the middle of the North Island in New Zealand as we saw before I'm right on 20 but it's pointing at about 30 just over 30 degrees or so oh there we go we can see it quite well there so let me just check that it's not stuck or anything See how it moved a little bit there? I think it's okay. All right, so it's pointing at 31 degrees or so. By the way, if you want to look up this information for your own location, you can go to timeanddate.com, which is a really cool site, which has all these calculations so that you can see when the next eclipse is going to be and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can go to, for what I'm doing today, you can go to Sun Calculator, type in the name of probably your nearest major city or something like that so I'll type well this is not a major city <laughs> populated place that's a good way to put it isn't it it's not a major town um, so then you come down here this is what I've been using so you can see today is the 20th uh, and it will show you the degrees of the rising and setting of the Sun um, the one that I'm looking at right now is the meridian and that is when it will be pointing or the shadow of something casting a shadow will be pointing directly north uh, and on this particular day as I said it's 125 p.m. and that will change a little bit as time goes on but um, yeah that's what I'm using to check this so what I need to know now is what it will be nine minutes I think it was nine minutes after 125 p.m. and you'll notice over here on the right hand side this heading indicator will be updating as I move the mouse around so if I move it to 134 it's a little bit tricky to get it on the right spot but if you're careful 134 I think it was actually 136 or 137 by the time I I think it was 137 by the time I actually got to measuring things um, so the heading now is 355 degrees instead of zero so that's why in the rest of this video I'm talking about five degrees difference okay I checked with the timeanddate.com website and turns out that by the time I'd got my uh, shadow aligned and everything the Sun had already or the shadow the bearing towards the Sun had already moved around by five degrees 
So given that the magnetic declination that I should have seen was 20 degrees, or that I would see if I was pointing true north was 20 degrees, what I should, have, what I should see this compass pointing to now is 25 degrees. Uh, and I checked with this, can't quite see here, but it's pointing at about 30.5. So it's about five and a half degrees off. Uh, so it's a pity I couldn't quite confirm the 20 degrees that we're supposed to see on this, but could be just that this magnet or this compass is not that great. I, th I don't think it's too bad though. But anyway, uh, the uh, latitude was nicely confirmed I think, so that's something. Might try and buy a better compass than this if I do this kind of thing in the future. Now that I have this piece of paper lined up to true north, well it's five degrees off because I was a little bit slow to line it up, um, but I can put a ruler across here like I have, and this ruler is on 95 degrees there, so that ruler should be pointing in true west direction like this. And on the equinox, the sun is supposed to set due west. So if I was to line this up there, the sun would set right over there. But as you can see, I didn't think this through too carefully. I wasn't really thinking about this at the time I placed this here. And now we have a water tank and a garage in the way. So it's not going to work too well, but maybe what I could do is just put the camera on a tripod and record a time lapse over about an hour or so, and we should be able to see the sun coming down here like this, somewhere around here, and we can use the positions of the path of the sun to infer where it would be at about the horizon point and see how well it lines up with this ruler that I am claiming should be pointing due west. All right, so I've set up my time-lapse camera over there, show me ye, and well, it's hard to see on the screen. Okay, there we go. Just shift that out of the way, and you'll see that the uh, ruler is pointing right at the camera there. But the ruler is a little bit hard to see on the camera, I'm thinking. I haven't checked it yet, of course, but I think it's going to be a bit hard to see. So what I've done is I've put this milk bottle container here and this should be heavy enough that the wind is not going to blow it off and it should be large enough and white enough to be visible a little bit easier from that camera there so this point here is roughly well I guess when the sun gets level to the horizon it'll be about here the sun should go through that point so here's the time lapse here unfortunately it's not really the greatest um, the main problem is that the sun looks quite washed out so we can't tell exactly where it is and that's because this camera doesn't have any zoom, so I can't zoom in on that little area that I want to look at. And um, the camera's trying to keep the shadows on each side in color balance as well, or white balance, brightness balance, or whatever. So we end up with the sun being washed out. Uh, there's also a little bit of cloud around the sun. Not too much, but just enough to help make things worse. But thankfully, right at the end here, just as it sinks, it goes behind the trees, and then it sort of pops out into a little area just there where we can see exactly where it is right before it goes behind the garage. So I'll just play that last little bit again so you can see that it is going to go pretty much right where that bottle is. By the way, just in case you thought I'd forgotten that the sun was going to set in the west today, uh, that is obviously one of the most well-known characteristics of the Equinox, so I hadn't forgotten that. I just forgot that I could test it with that same piece of paper that I used to test the north direction. Um, what I had intended to do to check whether the sun was going to set in the west was come out to a road which is running east to west and has a really ball-ripping name to boot. So that's the road down there. It's about two kilom kilometres long. And we're going to zoom in on this area here. The sun is just there. Looks like it's going to come out from behind those clouds when it sets, so that's nice. And in theory, it should set right about there, way down the end of that road. Um, that's the plan. So I'll put the link to this location in the description below if you want to see where I am. It's just south of Tiaraha, so you can see the Tiaraha radio tower up there somewhere. And you've got these hills behind me to the east. Otherwise, I would also film the sunset from the opposite end of this road. But well, I suppose I still could. I mean, those hills aren't really that high. Mm. 
no, I don't think I can wake up that early. So I'm just going to film the, um, the sunset and see how well it matches up to this east-west road. By the way, this road, if you look at it on the map, it's not exactly 270 degrees west. It's slightly to the south, like about a half a degree or so. But I think it should line up quite well because I'm actually filming this on March the 20th, which is about 10 hours before the actual exact equinox time. So the sun won't be quite 270 degrees. It should be still a tiny little bit to the south. So, it sh so this road should match up perfectly. Anyway, it's... Uh... Oh, yeah. I was going to show you this too. Where is it? Uh, so this is the display on my GPS status app. I put this pointing 270 degrees, but as you can see, or as we know from earlier, it doesn't quite line up with the road perfectly well. Um, but that's the rest of the stats there. Oh, why is GPS not? It was showing just a moment ago. Okay, well I've had to look at my phone for the GPS. I don't know why this tablet's having so much trouble with it. It's the first time in about five years that I've ever seen that that happens. But anyway, that's the GPS location there. And yeah, like I say, sunset's at 7.30, so right on half an hour from now. Uh, so I'll put this camera on the tripod and start recording. And once again, we have the same kind of problem. Can you tell this is the first time I've tried to do this? <laughs> so basically the sun is just not really visible to see exactly where it is. Maybe slightly better than the other camera, I think, because I'm able to zoom in to um, get a bit of white balance or whatever. But at the very least, we can see where it's heading quite well, at least until I zoom in this last time. If I had have known this was going to happen, I wouldn't have zoomed in quite so much. Okay, well, the sun hasn't quite set, but as you can see, unfortunately, there actually was quite a bit of cloud over there, so it's hard to even see exactly where it is. But you can probably see by the glow all around there where it roughly is in the middle of all that. And also, we could see the direction that it was heading when it was further out, um, and it was heading exactly for the end of the road there. Um, so it looks like if you want to do this kind of thing properly you have to do it over the ocean to really get a nice sunset. Uh, trouble is at the ocean you don't have this kind of a road to look out on very often to um, show to other people where you are on a map so that they can you know believe that you did it and so on. But um, yeah I think that's where I'll have to leave it today.